Well, what can I say? Asheville is on a lot of people's radars and a lot of people keep moving to the area and not just from other states. There are people who are moving to the area from other countries. Our team just welcomed somebody who moved back to the United States and moved to the Asheville area from a completely different country. They first found me on this channel, just like many other of my clients did. They reached out to me and my team and uh, now they, they, they live in Asheville. And no matter how much information is out there, no matter how many of my videos they, they've been watching, there are still questions about what it's like to live here, what it's like to move here. So in this video, I thought I would do a refresher course on the things you need to know before moving to the Asheville area in 2024. Hi, this is Elena Kavrigin with Nesting Dolls Realty powered by EXP Realty here in Asheville, North Carolina. Welcome back to my channel. It is so good to see you. So what is so special about Asheville, North Carolina compared to other similar size cities across the country? Here's the list of all the things combined that make this area so great to live in. Number one, we have seasons. We have four distinct seasons that are very mild, nothing extreme. If you're tired of shoveling snow up north, here in Asheville, that's not gonna be a problem. In fact, we haven't had a good snow in several years and we are due for one. And I'm talking about, give us a few inches. I'm not talking about a foot of snow <laughs> in winter. Give us a few inches and we would be happy. We just had snow and we only got maybe an inch here, right here in Asheville. Some people up in the mountains got more snow. So if you want more snow, you're going to need to live and you're going to need to look for a property somewhere in a higher elevation, which is not hard to do. High elevation properties and communities are all over the place. You just need to be uh, specific and look for something at a higher elevation. Summer times are also super mild. We don't have extreme temperatures. We don't have extreme humidity. I mean, it's gonna be a little more humid than places like Arizona, but it's gonna be a lot more comfortable temperature-wise and humidity-wise than places like Florida. So Asheville is a perfect place for somebody who is looking for four distinct seasons that are mild, nothing extreme, where you're not freezing, where you're not shoveling snow, when you're not dying from heat and humidity in the, in the summertime. Again, if you want more snow, you need to live in higher elevations. If you want more waterfalls and water features and creeks and streams and rivers, you need to look and explore the area just southwest of Asheville in Transylvania County, Brevard, and the Transylvania County as in general has over 200 waterfalls. It is a haven for somebody who loves waterfalls. If you think that this is not hot enough, you want something warmer, maybe you want a longer growing season, you want a hotter summer, you might want to check out an area that is southeast of Asheville, Rutherford and Polk counties are located in the thermal belt. So they have longer growing season and they have hotter summers. Next one up is food and beverage scene. I mean, it wouldn't be a video about Asheville if I did not mention that Asheville is a beer city USA. We have breweries on every corner and with the beer that we have, the quality of beer and the variety of beer and breweries is just mind blowing. Sometimes I feel like it's a little too much, <laughs> honestly, but our beer is good and tasty and it is on every corner, not just in Asheville, in Asheville proper, but in majority of Western North Carolina. If you're not a beer fan, we have a number of vineyards in the area. They're mostly located south of Asheville, maybe like 30 minutes, an hour from Asheville. In fact, I'll take it back. One big vineyard is located right in Asheville. Biltmore Estate grows their own grapes and they have their own winery. And it's just a great uh, opportunity to not just explore the area, but sit back, relax, have a nice beverage that is locally made and produced. As far as non-alcoholic drinks, man, it's a South. Everyone loves their sweet tea here. So when you come to a restaurant, when you come anywhere to eat here in the area and you order sweet tea, just, just a warning, it's gonna be 
super, super, super sweet. A lot of times, most of the time actually, when I order sweet tea, I actually order half and half so that they mix half sweet, half un unsweet. That way it is just perfect, but otherwise it is too sweet for me personally. Again, a lot of locals, a lot of natives, that's what they love. They love a lot of sugar in a sweet tea. So that's what you're gonna get if you order sweet tea in a restaurant here in the area. Along with our beverages, we love to eat. And we love to eat in our local restaurants that are everywhere here. And that's another thing that we personally love about this area. And that's something that you should know before you moved here. We have a ton of local restaurants. There's no reason to go to a chain restaurant here in the area. Local restaurants have great food. We have a number of James Beard Award restaurants here in right here in Asheville. They, a lot of them are farm to table. A lot of them support local farmers and we love support locals, other locals who are doing business in the area. If not going out to local restaurants, a lot of people in this area love growing their own food, their own produce. If not growing themselves, they love, including me in particular, going and supporting local farmers. And we have a ton of local farmers here and a lot of uh, local farmers markets that are, you, you know, a lot of times they are on Saturdays or Saturdays and Thursdays in different places. There's a ton of opportunities to get local produce from local farmers and I am here for it. Outside of that, again, it's a South and a lot of people love everything fried. So there's a ton of fried everything everywhere as well as barbecue. We love our barbecue and there's a number of great places, some places on the side of the road that would be smoking meat and it, the, the food would be amazing. We love our barbecue, our uh, fried chickens and that come with biscuits and collard greens and uh, cornbread. Those are some basic southern food staples that we have here. And so don't worry, if you come into the area, if you're visiting, if you're moving, you're not going to be just stuck with something that you don't know, uh, some, you know, local restaurants that you never heard about. There's a, a, a variety of other more familiar restaurants and places. I know one of the big reasons for a lot of people to move here and to come here to this area is nature and outdoors. And a lot of people ask me, well, how long does it take to get to a trail? Or we wanna live somewhere where it's gonna be close to outdoors and trails and hiking and biking. You do not need to go to nature and outdoors here. You live in Asheville, you live right in nature and outdoors. It's everywhere. Blue Ridge Parkway goes through town. There are several entrances to it. You can hop on and just go hiking within minutes from your house. Bent Creek is a huge area right here in Asheville where you can, this, I mean, I don't even know how many trails there are for biking, hiking, you can get lost. We have a special GPS, special. <laughs> we have GPS when we go uh, biking in Bent Creek so that we do not get lost because my husband almost got lost one time the first time he went there. Our Arboretum is there for hiking and just walking around for maybe shorter hiking and biking trips, but it's all right here in Asheville. You do not need to go anywhere. And that's a great part about it. Now, nature is also here <laughs> in the sense that wildlife is also here. When you live in the woods, wildlife lives in the woods. So bears, which is a lot of, you know, a lot of people are concerned about bears. Some people ask me like how dangerous bears are and how dangerous it is to live here with bears. I mean, I saw some footage, somebody saw bears in downtown Asheville. There was a mama bear and a few cubs where they come and look through all our trash and they have pain in the ass <laughs> to clean afterwards. Deer, raccoons, I mean, the bigger concern for people is of course bears, they're everywhere. Do not do stupid things, do not feed them, do not approach them, and you will be just fine, trust me. There's a huge mountain biking and cyclist community in this area. Transylvania County, which is southwest of Asheville, has a huge cyclist community. So if you are into it, it again, it's gonna be everywhere and you will be able to find 
like-minded people if you come here and explore it a little bit more. Now, Asheville is not that big on sports. I mean, you can watch a local team play a baseball game at, in downtown Asheville, but to watch like a college game or to watch, I don't know, hockey or something else, you probably would need to go to a different city like Charlotte or Raleigh. Uh, I know my husband went to watch hockey in Raleigh a few years ago. So Asheville is not huge on that, but it is huge on the music. We have an amazing music scene right here in Asheville. And that brings me to my next point, culture and vibe. Asheville is a very artsy, eclectic, funky, small town in the South. It is full of artists, galleries, hippies, music venues, all kinds of stuff like that. If you are into it, if you're into crystal shops and all kinds of natural medicine type of things and yoga and holistic approaches, which I'm completely here for it, Asheville will be the right place for you. <laughs> Unlike the rest of Western North Carolina, Asheville tends to be on the more liberal side. So keep that in mind, uh, right here in Asheville, it might be, it might feel a little more different than right outside of Asheville. All these towns around Asheville that I covered in several of my other videos that I'm gonna link up right here will be a little different. So, you know, keep that in mind, but generally, no matter what kind of background you have, no matter what kind of belief you have, people here are super friendly, welcoming, and, Yes, I mean, there are, you will hear sometimes people say a lot of natives or a lot of locals who've been here for decades would say, do not come here, there's too many people, blah, 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 you're changing what it used to be. If you are out and about and if you start meeting and talking to people, you will realize that right here in Asheville, most people are from somewhere else. They are not from Asheville. So you will be just like one of many people who already live here to really get a taste of Asheville and kind of see what Asheville is all about, you need to go to downtown Asheville. And it's a kind of an invitation, but also a warning. When you go there, you never know who or what you're gonna see in downtown Asheville to this date. We've been here for 20 years and I still <laughs> sometimes surprised at what or who I see in downtown Asheville. Again, Downtown Asheville is a great representation of the Asheville vibe. So there's a lot of hippies, there's a lot of artists, there's a lot of art, artsy stuff. Sometimes it can be a little too artsy for some people, as well as a lot more homeless people these days, which is unfortunate, especially after pandemic or during pandemic, it started happening more and more. A lot of people were displaced, a lot of people lost housing for whatever reason. Also, unfortunately, homelessness in this area, I don't know about other areas, kind of goes hand in hand with drug use and abuse. They're trying to take me measures. They have been trying to take m more measures to kind of help the situation. It is a complex issue and I know it's across the board. It's in many different states, in many different towns and cities across the country. It's not as bad as in places like California or Portland and you know some other places where you, that you see on the news, but we do have more houseless pe people on the streets of Asheville, especially in downtown Asheville. So something to keep in mind and be prepared as you go. It's not gonna be like this idyllic, perfect place you go and visit in the mountains. We have some issues, we're working on them and you know, overall, it still is a great place to live, uh, to each their own, of course. And to some people that might be one single reason why you wouldn't want to be here. Good news is that Asheville is just one place in Western North Carolina. If you want similar things, you can just go 30 minutes, an hour away from Asheville and you can land in a pretty sweet spot in another small southern town with southern charm and hospitality and nature and all those great things almost all of those great things if you have more questions more specific questions about what it might look like for you reach out to me and my team our contact information is down in the description 
we'll be happy to walk you through all the different options. And last but not least, kind of a big elephant in the room is cost of living. Unfortunately, the Asheville area, Asheville itself, is not the cheapest place to live. And I'm not just talking about the cost of buying a house, renting a house, but the problem is that there are no high, almost no high paying jobs in this area. A lot of jobs, a lot of people rely on tourism and hospitality industry. So those are the biggest economic drivers here in the area. Um, medical, medical field is another big employer in the area. With that, if you have some kind of degree that you want to utilize, unless you already have a job offer here in the area, I would really think twice and really do my research, whether or not you're going to be able to find a job, whether or not you're going to be able to find a decent paying job that will support your lifestyle here in this area. So cost of living is higher than other places in North Carolina. The, there are no high paying jobs. There's not a whole lot of jobs in general. A lot of people who are moving here, a lot of my clients already had jobs that are remote. All they need is an internet. Which brings me to one more thing that I wanted to end this video with. Internet here is great for the most part. We have a lot of not just cable, but a lot of fiber internet. But some areas, not, you know, I'm not talking about Asheville right here in the middle of, you know, in the middle of, of the of Western Carolina, but some areas outside of Asheville can be a hit or miss. So when you're looking for a property, if you're looking for a rental, if you're looking for a place to land, you need to verify whether or not they would have internet. Reli now, I'm not just talking about internet, any internet, right? Uh, for most people these days, it needs to be high speed internet. And you or your agent need to make sure that there is internet. I'm not gonna go all into much detail on how to do it and why and what and you know, what areas, I'm just saying that some areas, some parts of Western North Carolina can be a really big hit or miss on the internet. So if that's a deal breaker, make sure you land in a place that has good, reliable, high-speed internet. If you have any questions about what it's like to move to the Asheville area, about the process, about living here, neighborhoods, locations, towns, my team and I would love to help you along the way and we would love to help you relocate to the Asheville area. Our contact information is down in the description and I will see you next time.